Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is pushing a tough-on-crime agenda ahead of an expected presidential bid with his support for two bills in the state legislature, including one that would challenge the United States Supreme Court. So I will be going through the details quite thoroughly. I'll be giving my opinion, even though my opinion might be quite muddled. I might ramble. Let's uh, see how we go on that one. But in essence, Ron DeSantis is supporting two separate bills, both related to to the application of the death penalty, the first bill that he is backing would authorize the death penalty for child artists. So I can't say that word, which is spelled R-A-P-I-S-T-S. I can't say that on YouTube. So Ron DeSantis is backing a bill that would authorize the death penalty for child artists, not in all cases of child R, but in some cases, the jury will be in a position to vote for the death penalty. And if the vote is at least eight jurors to four in favor of the death penalty, then the death penalty will be sanctioned. Now, this isn't applicable for all cases of child R, as far as I understand, but we're told here that the bill is in regards to those that are sentenced for sexual battery on a child under the age of 12. So, if you happen to be guilty, found guilty in a court of law for sexual battery on a child under the age of 12, and that happens to be in the state of Florida, then you stand the chance of being given the death sentence. Deservedly so. Here's a quote from Ron DeSantis. We are authorizing the death penalty for child arrests. My view is you have some of these people that will be serial arrests of six and seven year old kids. I think the death penalty is the only appropriate punishment when you have situations like that. Okay, so I'm going to comment on that. I'm going to give you my thoughts and I'm probably going to enter a bit of a ramble fest whilst I do so. But I'm going to start off by saying that I make a lot of videos and I come across um, the, the articles that I cover generally involve murder murder, torture, SA, and often that includes the victims being children. And when I make the videos, I almost always wish the death penalty upon the prime suspects should they be found guilty in a court of law. I have a preference for the death penalty in general, and I feel that in situations where new laws, new bills, new legislation is being proposed, I feel that that is a required opportunity to review whatever we might think on the situation. We do need to take the situation more seriously if we're going to enact laws that are going to have these very harsh punishments. So I think that I perhaps need to give the subject a little bit more thought, a little bit more investigation. But having said that, I think ultimately I'm happy with how I've always looked upon this situation. And that is that if a scumbag, if a pervert, if a psychopath commits heinous crimes, and that would include murder, really of any age, really, in my opinion, that would involve murder and it will involve serious sexual assault. Again, really of any age. I feel scumbags like this don't deserve any leeway. I don't think that they deserve protection from society, protection from the state. I think they have transgressed to the point that they are undeserving of being a part of society. Further to that, they need to be removed from society for the protection of society. Further to that, they need to face serious punishment so that the family family and friends of the victims and of course the victims themselves are able to feel that society is somewhat atoning for the victim's suffering. So I do believe in harsh punishment for a number of different reasons. And you can't get too much more heinous than aring children. I'm going to mention that I don't think it is just about children of the ages of six or seven. Aring an older child is also, I mean, I'm going to say equally as heinous. Maybe it is worse the younger they are, but ultimately it's much much, much the same and it's absolutely awful and absolutely not anything that ought to be tolerated on any level. So I do feel that when these proposals come up that as individuals and as a society we do need to sit down and discuss it properly before putting through new forms of harsh punishment but having said that ultimately I feel likely that even if I did go through a more thorough thought process analysis a more thorough analysis of the situation I feel that I'd still come up with the same conclusion and that is F these scumbags throw them to the wolves and I'll just expand on that I would literally throw them to the wolves if it were up to me I would throw them to the wolves I would use a piece of rope I would dig a pit I would use a couple of dollars worth of lead I would rather not have these scumbags on death row for decades and able to enact costly legal appeals to the cost of the taxpayer that's not the ideal situation the ideal situation is hey scum 
come back. Hey, pervert, you've gone through your trial. The prosecution has come up with all kinds of evidence. You've been found guilty in a court of law. You had the opportunity to have a defender, a, a, a defense lawyer. You've made your case and it didn't hold water. You've been found guilty. So F you, you've caused too much harm to the victims. You've transgressed society's rules by too far a degree. You're F'd, buddy. Have I rambled too much? Anyway, so I'm going to move on a little bit more to the next uh, part of the article. The Florida governor, Ron DeSantis, has slammed democratic soft on crime policies and woke ideology in other states as he pushes his own vision for America. Okay, and I'm not going to dive too deep into the political side of things. Maybe you're a Democrat. Maybe you're woke. I'm not. I don't live in America. The term Democratic Democrat doesn't really apply to me. But certainly, as far as I understand, most Democrat policies, I don't agree with. I don't agree with soft on crime policies and I don't agree with a lot of wokeness. I mean, basically all wokeness. I'm more authoritarian. I believe people do the wrong thing and they're always going to do the wrong thing. But if you let them get away with doing the wrong thing, that's what they're going to do time and time again. So at a certain point, if you want to protect your society, if you want to protect your citizens that do contribute to society, then you need to draw the line at criminal behavior and you need to punish people accordingly. It's only fair. It's only just that's the only way you're going to get safety within your population so i am not a fan of soft on crime policies so in general i likely support ron DeSantis in this regard he's also pushing a second death penalty measure that would remove the requirement that only a unanimous jury can issue the death penalty the article tells us that this second bill is in response to the outrage last year after a divided jury meant that parkland shooter school shooter nicholas cruz received a life in prison sentence instead of the death penalty so so I'm not going to go through the full details, but yes, Nicholas Cruz, you ought to be aware of him, found guilty after going through a trial. It was obvious he was guilty in any case, but yeah, found guilty of the Parkland school shooting. Many, 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 many people across the world would hope and expect that he would be given the death penalty despite his young age at the time of the crime. Can't remember what his age was, but I'm going to say 17, maybe younger, not entirely sure, could have that wrong. Most people were expecting the death penalty for just for his multiple victims but no he was given a life in prison sentence so Ron DeSantis is of the mind of well that isn't right that isn't fair this scumbag psychopath and he's not the only one to go on a school shooting rampage he gets to keep his life at the cost of the to the taxpayers well that doesn't seem like a very good arrangement so Ron DeSantis is bringing in a new bill or backing a new bill that would remove the requirement that only a unanimous jury can issue the death penalty so uh under the new legislation, the proposed legislation, at least eight members of a 12-person jury would have to recommend a death sentence, at which point the death sentence can be granted or enforced by the judge. Um, so I think I also agree with that. You know, I generally am pro-death penalty. If someone's found guilty, I mean, Nicholas Cruz, if we use him as an example, how does society benefit by having Nicholas Cruz walk the earth at a significant cost to the United States taxpayers? How does the world benefit from that? The world does not benefit from that. The only person that benefits from Nicholas Cruz not being given the death penalty is Nicholas Cruz, should he wish to continue with his life. I don't think the judicial system should bend over backwards to accommodate mass murderers. I think the judicial system should be there to enforce severe punishment to mass murderers. So I agree with Ron on this one as well. There is a little bit more in the article, but it gets a little bit political, which I don't really want to go into. Although, you know, let's keep it real. I basically support what he's saying. He said that crime has gone up. People are fleeing jurisdictions where the states are soft on crime. Can't really argue with that. You seem to have quite a high degree of lawlessness. Pick a state, you know. Missouri, you just had uh, Andrew Lester, is that his name? The 84-year-old shoot Ralph Yarl. Bit of lawlessness there going on. New York has been a cesspit for several years, if not more than a decade. Plenty of evidence of that. California, everyone goes shoplifting. You know, you've got all of your major retail outlets closing because of shoplifting. Whole Foods had a premium store. I can't think of the term, but you know, one of its most beautiful stores, flagship store, closed after a year being open because of rampant ongoing shoplifting. People going in, taking whatever they want, not paying for it because they know that they're going to get away with it. So yeah, your soft on crime policies are trash and frankly need to be addressed.
address. But hey, you know, don't want to get too political. So really, there we go. You've had a chance to read through the article. You've had a chance to listen to my opinions on the subjects. So I'll wrap things up. If you appreciate the content, the commentary, please do like, comment, subscribe, share the video as you see fit and take care.